Hello again, everybody. It is time to defeat the gargoyles. Uh, so I have been farming this area like a madman. I am now level 32. I've put a lot of things in dexterity, obviously, and endurance. What else has changed? Like, I didn't record it because it was just me just walking around the parish killing things over and over and over again and, you know, trying to hone my skills with, you know, using a one-hander weapon as two-handed. Um trying to, you know, hone the parry system, getting my dodges down, all that stuff. So, before you go to the gargoyle, I'm going to um, go to that blacksmith and try to upgrade some weapons. I'm going to see if I can. I should be able to. And up. I almost look like I'm on my way to becoming a badass with my ruined, cracked armor here. <laughs> so I definitely need some more armor. Alright, let's go out here, kill these three guys, which I've done many times before. Oh, what? Nope. Oh, I also have my humanity up to 10, which is huge. Not just from killing people all the time. Boom. Did you drop anything? No. Alright. Alright, so let's go down to this armorer. Get us some upgrades. I don't remember if they cost souls as well as titanite shards and you know other stuff. We will find out, or I will find out. You probably already know. Hello. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything? Actually, what do you have for sale? Oh, you sell Titanite shards too? Okay. Um, tools for reinforcing weapons at bonfires. Really? Oh, yeah. I remember this. The crest of, uh, what? Artorias? Yeah, this opens a giant door in the forest, which we'll be going to after Undeadburg, I think. Or, uh,. Is that what it's called? Undeadburg? The Depths? I don't remember. It's... it's well, whatever, we'll get there. And behind that, you can find um, this giant cat, which <laughs> it's really just a giant cat. And the cat lets you sign into the um, Forest Covenant, something like that. And I believe that opens up a shop that I think I want to do, because he sells claws. And actually, speaking of claws... Let me pick up these. I've never actually messed around with the... Uh, Punching weapons. No difference? Alright. What does the pike do? 24 strength? Holy sh... Okay. Um... Traditionally, it's by groups of soldiers, especially... Longest range of non-projectile weapons, but it's very likely so much difficult to handle. Interesting. War pick. I kind of want to try... Is this, a, is this a two hander? It's a great sword, okay. The only way with two hands to do is great weight, usually. Some... Requires 16 strength, which I have. So that's 3,000 souls. Broadsword. Like I said, I want to try like all the different weapons because I always stuck with like the spear. So I just want to give this run some fresh flavor. What do I want to do? Modify equipment? No. Reinforced weapon. Alright. I also got a couple Balder side swords when I was farming. Uh, you get them from the knights that actually have those swords. I also got a Zweinheinder. Yeah, I explored. Sorry, I did this off of camera. My bad. The graveyard with the skeletons. I ran down in there to collect other things, and this was one of them. A Zweinheinder. Zweinheinder. However you pronounce that. It's a great sword. I can't even wield yet. Alright. So. 
I can upgrade that for one Titanite shard and 200 souls. Same thing with that, same with that. Cess is only one soul, or 100 souls. And I can upgrade the shield. What would that actually do? Require it increases its stability? Alright. <clears throat> the halberd has been doing me very well. Um, but I think I'm going to upgrade that. There we go. So, I know to get it past the plus 5 you need special materials. I think that's what I need to give the blacksmith so I can upgrade it into a different, um, like an, an occult or what else was there, like lightning, you know, some special effects. So let's upgrade the winged spear. Or should I upgrade the cestus? What does the cestus upgrade? C on both strength and dex. That's interesting. Hmm. What about this? Huh. Well, let's do the wing spear because I do plan on using that for certain situations. So there we go. We got that to a plus five. Um. If anyone wants to recommend something else to upgrade, I think I'm going to mess around with the cestus here. And you know, if I need more titanite shards, I can just go farming like I did before. It's not the most difficult thing to get. And the, should I do the halberd? I think I should do the halberd. I'm gonna be out of shards though. So let me... Let me check out the armor here. So that would increase it. The problem is like this isn't really that good of a set. So I don't even think I want to. Now that I may want to. Because the Fang Boar Helm is pretty cool. Blood resist, poison resist, and then all those other stats. 0.4, 0 0.3. Hmm. Oh, that takes Twinkling Titanite. Ooh. I actually may want to save that for weapons instead. Um, so let's do the Halberd? Don't want to do that? And I was looking between the long sword and this Balder side sword. So the difference being that the long sword is a C with strength and dex, and this is an E and a B in strength and dex. So I don't know. Do I even want to use any of those? I don't know. Let me know. Um. All right. Actually, I think that's going, all I'm going to do for right now. Is there anything else I want to buy? Long sword, broad sword. I can try that out, but I think it's probably the same as a. I could buy a pike. Yeah, let me buy a pike. Why not? Souls are easy to come by. Go get yourself killed. Thanks, buddy. I'll try not to. Oh, and I'm also using a balder shield, which you get from the knights. I have like a whole full balder set from just mining or farming this area. Uh, it's actually not as good as my other shield, which I would put on. I just think it looks cooler, the way that he carries it. Yes, I'm vain, okay? I like when my character looks cool. And this shield makes him look more badass. Alright, so before we go fight the boss, I want to try out the... some different weapons here. So let's equip the pike. Oh, that's right. I don't have the strength for it yet, do I? <laughs> Alright, can I wield it two-handed, though? Looks like I can. Hmm. Okay. Let's put on the Cestus and uh, keep the that on, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so I just gotta. Well, I just punch people. I thought it'd be faster than that. I'm curious if this has a parry animation, so let me put that in my left hand. Because if it has a parry an animation, that'd be kind of funny. It does. 
So I could actually equip two of these mother truckers and then just like start lighting the dude up. Quick punch. Yeah, because it's even like a quick jab. Ah. Interesting. I only bought one though, so I'm going to use that as my main weapon for right now. And I'll put a shield in. That's so weird. Alright, let's see if I can parry this, this guy and punch him in the face. Test this out here. That was messed up. Oh, <laughs> take the gut punch. <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense, man. So much blood came out. That was that was pretty cool, though. Can I sneak attack with this? <laughs> oh man, this game. That doesn't make sense. But I'll take it though. Alright. Now well, that's done. Let us make our way up to the top. See if we can kill those flipping gargoyles. Actually, for this area, I'm going to equip my winged spear. Narrow corridors. To kill all these guys. They're really easy, but man, there is a flipping lot of them. There we go. Ooh, pillage. I'll take that. Uh, we don't actually have to go down that hallway, so let's just go... Is it here? What's gonna suck if I lose is losing my 10 humanity. That's really gonna suck. Because if I die up here, I have to come back up here to claim that. And so that means I'm basically going to keep coming back until we beat this flipping boss. Oh man, just starting right off, huh? I'm hoping to cut off his tail. There it is! Moby got his axe, or his tail. Flipping. Why is that staying on my screen? There we go. Can we backstab these guys? No, we cannot. Boom! Easy peasy. Hell yeah. Just rock their face. God, that was like easier than, um. Well, something, I'm sure. 10,000 souls? Hell yeah. Alright, so I believe this is where, in my last video, I was talking about a NPC who forgives your sins, and I believe it's actually up here. In the bell tower. Here we go. Man, that was flipping way easy. Hmm, maybe not. I thought he was up here. Maybe he appears later. Oh, time to ring that bell. Let me hear that beautiful bell chime.
Yep. I'm letting the world know I killed those two gargoyles. My guy should just like shout from the top of the tower, like a Conan shout or something. That'd be awesome. But that doesn't happen. All right, so let me check our new weapons here. Gargoyles halberd. It does slightly more damage than a normal halberd, but besides that, it's the same. Oh no, it's attack. It that's regular thrust, but this is just regular. All right, let's see what that regular attack is like, and we also got the gargoyle shield, which is actually lower physical damage reduction. Oh, was that 30, 70, 50? 40, 75, 70. And that's higher elemental protection. Problem being that when you block, though, it only blocks 85% of the damage, not 100. Um, against certain people, that's that would be a good thing due to its higher magic, fire, and lightning. So I, I guess I'll keep that in my inventory, but not for use just normally. What else did we get? The gargoyle's axe. That's what we got. Gargoyle tail axe. Uh, I don't have a normal axe to compare it to. Um, it has a high damage block, though, if you wield this by itself. 55% damage blocks, 40 fire and lightning. That's pretty good for just blocking with an axe. Um, I'd like to compare that to the battle axe I have, see which one is... I'm, I'm, this is probably better. Let's just see what it looks like, I guess. Let's see what both of them look like. There we go. Gargoyle's Halberd. Hmm. Wait a minute. What's that icon in my? That's like a defense up. Wait. Does my? Does this Halberd give me? Whoa. Why do I have that defense up now? Wait a minute, so... One of these weapons give me increased defenses? Really? Where does it say that in... Oh, damn it. In this. It, it doesn't, but... Um... It must be like a hidden stat. I'll have to look that up. That's interesting. Wow. Okay. I'm assuming that's what that shield up icon means. It's kind of weird that I'm taking poison and bleed damage when I up uh, equip it, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that up. That may be worth using these, then, if they increase my stats. Oh! <laughs> I almost swung. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kherim, the pardon. Thou art a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Cometh thou to confess? Or to accuse? For indeed, all sin is my domain. What do you have to sell? Nope, nope, nope. Karmic Justice, a miracle, 40,000 souls? Black-haired Witch Velka, temporarily auto-counter versus heavy damage. Whoa. An auto-counter? That's cool. Velka's Talisman? Oh, this must be for sorceries? Since it has an A in intelligence? Um, Talisman, medium for casting miracles of the gods. This black turf... Wait. Oh, no shit! I didn't even know this item... Well, I maybe knew in my previous playthrough, but I didn't know it existed now. So this will... Huh. So this would be good if you're a sorcery and faith, because... Well, one, if you're playing sorcery, you're going to increase your intelligence. Two, if you also use miracles, well, you don't have to increase both faith and intelligence with this talisman. Huh. You know what, guys? I may... I only invested one point into faith so far. I 
I'm thinking about buying this and then maybe casting sorceries. So boosting up my intelligence become like a spell sword. And with this thing, I only need to increase my intelligence so I can still cast mirror. That's cool. Anyway, sorry, I'm like tripping out on this. What else we got? One of the infamous rings. Uh, despite its dreadful rumors surrounding its creation, this ring is an unmistakable asset in its ability to help prevent bleeding. Okay, so... Okay. And that's poison resistance. That's bleed resistance. Okay. Man, guys, I don't know. I think I want to buy that like right now. Some right here anyway. I'm going to buy it. I... Yeah. Yep, I'm going to buy it. So... Hell yeah. So this is... Alright, yeah. So this is the guy that allows you to abandon a covenant. Because you can only be in one at, at one time. So I'll have to come back here... To abandon my... Um, what covenant am I in? Way of Light? That's so cool, Velka's Talisman. Oh man. If I had known... I'm really glad that I didn't put that much into my faith stat yet, or else I would have been pissed. Like, supremely pissed. Like, I'd have been just shouting expletives right now, like, oh, you mother... I would have had to self-censor myself. Self-censor myself. Yes, I said that. Heck yeah. I'm so happy that I'm going to go down this hallway and I'm going to kill this knight up here with my... Uh, oh, that's right. I wanted to check my stats and see if they are increased with this thing on. So I think the big difference between this and my other halberd, I mean, except, you know, besides the fact that this is obviously increasing my stats somehow, and it does base increased damage, is that the way it attacks. Because a normal halberd, this attack, instead of doing that, like, overhand, it's just a thrust. That's the same, though. What about two-handed? That's the same. Yeah, so the only difference between these two is that this has an overhand forward attack, and the other one is a thrust. So that means you can, you know, hit people that are slightly above you, whereas a thrust may have more difficulty, I guess. So, let me look at my stats. Physical defense is 173. So... Let's change that. That still says 173. Is my HP up? Let's see, 616, 110, equip load is 90. Or does this even reflect in, in this? Maybe it doesn't. I'll have to look this up, see what this actually is doing for me. Until then, let's pull out the more upgraded weapons. Oh man, I'm excited about that Velka's talisman almost more than beating that boss. Alright, so what do we do now? We need to go to Undeadburg. How do we get there? Is it through this way? I'm trying to remember. Oh, I can't remember. Hmm, well, let's, let's find out. I want to say this is way to the forest. pretty sure that this is the forest. How do I not remember how to get down there? Hmm. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to do some exploring here. Or is this the way to the forest? No, that's the way to that castle, right? So... Hmm. I don't want to go to the forest yet, do I? Which is something I missed. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So we have. Opens. Ah, that's open residence in Undeadburg. Opens door leading to lower Undeadburg. Okay. I think I know where that is. We're gonna go check it out. Because I'm almost positive I don't go through the forest to get to Undeadburg. I, I wanna say it's back in, like, the starting area. My bad for running us over there. In the meantime, let's punch some dudes to death. Come here, buddy. I want to practice my fists on your face. 
Uh, <laughs> punch you to death. So, um, what I do remember is that that forest coven I was talking about, they sell claws, and I think I want to buy those, but to do that, you have to join the forest covenant. Oh, wait, you're still alive? What the... What the what? Get punched to death. Uh, there's also other stuff, cool stuff that they sell, too. Uh, do I want to go this way or the other way? Uh, uh, yeah, let's go this way. This way we can, I guess, at least rest and refill our, um, well, our one heal that we're missing. <laughs> oh, and our one Essence Flask, I guess, too. Could level up over here too. So I'm gonna level up intelligence to 12, so that way I can equip. What? Wait, what? Um, doing that wrong. Oh, I need 16 intelligence to even equip this. Oh. So wait, does that mean I can't use miracles with it? No, I, I can. But does that mean that it's using my faith stat and not my actual intelligence stat right now? Is that what that means? Let me know in the comments, or I'll, I'll look it up after this. I don't know. One of the two. I'll, f I'll figure it out. All I know is that I can still use heal, so I'll, I'll keep it equipped. Hello. I'll take your broken sword. Or your shield, that's fine too. Boom! And take it! Can you tell I've done this a few times? Well, heck, you've seen me do this a few times. That's the only times you've seen me do it. Alright, so it shouldn't be too far now. From... If it's the door I'm thinking of. That bridge that the people started throwing the firebombs at me. You know, a little further up. There's a locked door that we saw you know, a few episodes ago. And I think that's the door that I have the key to unlock. I think. We'll find out very soon. Oh, you bastard. You actually hit me. Alright, so right up here. not it. Crap. I forgot that there's no one from that side. Okay. New plan. I'm trying to think in my head if I've seen any doors. Maybe I do have to go through the forest. Hmm. Damn. Damn to damn. Let me think. Uh. Alright. I'll tell you what. I'm going to cut the video here. And um, I'm going to look around a little bit more. Or am I just going to look up? No, I don't really want to look it up. Uh, I'm going to look around and so you don't have to suffer from me going from one end to the other. Yeah. So when we come back, I'll be on the right track, I guess, hopefully. And I'll probably look up that Velka's amulet and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching this episode. We worked those gargoyles to death so easily. That was very satisfying. And um, I'll see you all next time.